Hello Collective! This is Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you choosing me to spend your time with. Um, this is going to be a nighttime tarot reading. Um, the time is now 11.18 p.m. September 5th, 2020. And I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Please check your signs. Check all those to see if any of that would resonate with you. If you have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mercury in your chart, that re the reading would also resonate with you guys. Um, this reading will not resonate with every Gemini on the planet. So just take what messages resonate with you and leave the rest, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to be using my Earth deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, Spirit Guides. What kind of messages do we have for our Gemini regarding love for Wednesday, September 5th, 2020? 11.19 p.m. Now it's 11.19 This is just to get a feel for what kind of energies are going on with my Geminis out there. I hope everything's going well for you guys. We're going to check into your love situation and see what we find out. Okay, cut the deck. Okay, the first card up is karma. Someone you may be dealing with, um, a lover or a significant other from the past or in the present, may be due for some karma. Okay. And then we have nervous. Maybe my Geminis, maybe you guys have been feeling nervous lately. Maybe you are stressed out. Maybe this, maybe you're with a karmic partner also. This could suggest that you're with a karmic partner also. Maybe this person is making you nervous. Maybe you're possibly maybe in some kind of stressful situation. Or you just may be feeling nervous in general. I hope not. I'm sad to hear that. Blackmailed. Um, someone is blackmailing you, Gemini. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe this is karma over here. Maybe it's a karmic partner, someone you're with or someone you just broke up with, someone in your past or your present. We're going to check into the reading and see how that applies to you. Okay. Let's get one more. Let's do this. Keep going. Let's shuffle. Spirit, all the angels, okay. Nostalgic, okay. Right now, you may be um, feeling nostalgic. This is usually a soulmate card, like the Six of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you may be reliving the past. You may be thinking about all the good times you had. You may be reliving childhood. This could be a past life lover, a past life soulmate, a past, past life karmic. We're going to check into it and see what it is, but this is kind of um, resonating with the Six of Cups. That's the energy I'm getting. Past life. All right. Okay, the next deck I'm going to be using is the Golden Art Nobu Tarot. Okay. 
Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors. What do we need to know for our Gemini, for their love life? Okay, got the Two of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, right now, either you or someone you're involved with is possibly juggling two partners. Okay, I'm not getting this as you. Okay, this could be this karmic that you're with. Okay, they may be juggling you and someone else, male or female. Take that how it resonates. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, Four of Wands is soulmate energy, twin flame life partner, soulmate, um, twin flame. Um, this could also could represent a marriage. Okay, you could have recently, you could be, you could be married, you could be with somebody, you could have a relationship, a house. Um, it's looking like to me that this other person, whoever you have this this house with, is juggling two people, you and someone else. Okay, and it could represent a soulmate, twin flame, life partner, also either or, ever how your situation is. I don't. You guys know your situation. Um, that's maybe why you're feeling nostalgic. Okay. Where this is a current, if this is a current relationship where you are married and have a house, it doesn't apply. But if it isn't, then you're feeling nostalgic. If uh, you might be seeing the numbers 1111, take that how it resonates. It could be either scenario. And this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we need to know from my Gemini? What else do we need to know from my Gemini for their love life, for their highest good? Okay. All right. This could be someone. This is the Ten of Swords. Okay. This is um, the Sun in Gemini. It's also Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, this means this is the ending of a cycle. Um, this person in here that you have the two of pentacles relationship with that's that was juggling or is juggling or was possibly you could be married to this person. It's possible you could have a house together. Um, something's happened because I got the karma card. See this right here, blackmailed and nervous. Um, sounds like you're in a very stressful situation. I'm sorry, Gemini. I didn't want this reading to go this way. Um, Someone betrayed you, someone stabbed you in the back, you know, you feel like you've been stabbed 10 times, uh, this is what's bothering you, um, that person that did that to you could be getting some karma, you're being blackmailed, it's making you nervous, I'm so sorry Gemini, I did not want this reading to turn out this way, but I have to read the cards, um, just be careful, okay, but the good news about this Ten of Swords is this is the end. Whatever cycle you're going through, this is a Ten of Swords. This is the ending of a very painful cycle. It's the sun in Gemini, your sign. And you will see there will be a new day dawning. You will be able to start over. Okay. It's the end. So you will be able to start over. I know it's painful right now, but things will get better. So just know this is the end of it. This is the worst part is over. Okay. I'm so sorry, you guys. So sorry. I didn't want this reading to be like this. Also, I got the King of Cups. Okay, they both of those cards jumped out. The King of Cups is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you, Gemini. This could be the energy you're in. Maybe you were... The King of Cups is a good energy. It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups is very emotional. I mean, not emotional. They have their... Um, they're very emotionally balanced. Okay, they know how to, they, they've mastered their emotions. This could be you. Maybe since you got, since you found out about this, since this person was juggling another person with you, another partner, and you got betrayed, felt betrayed, felt stabbed in the back. Um, this King of Cups, this could be the energy that you're in. Maybe you've mastered your emotions. Okay, it could be your person. 
or it could be just that you've mastered your emotions. This could be you. Gemini's usually are very good at mastering their emotions. So, and you still are, you still have love in you in spite of uh, being betrayed and being juggled by another partner. Okay, so that is the good news about that. That's what I have so far on that King of Cups. It might change. We're going to see. All right, let's keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors. What do we have for my Gemini? What do they need to know about their love life for their highest good? What is the root of the spread? What is the root of the problem? What else do they need to know? Okay. We've got the moon and the world. Okay. Um, the moon. This is maybe the root of your problem. The moon is, um, it, can all, it can mean a lot of different things. This is Pisces. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody with a Pisces or with somebody with Pisces in their chart. This is a major arcana. The moon to me is we, we're going through a moon cycle right now. Uh, I think Mars is in retrograde. I think that I think that's what's going on. Um, I'm not really, you know, into, I'm not an astrologer, but I do know a little bit about it. Um, the moon to me, it's telling me that you're intuitive, that that could mean that. Okay. Or you're dealing with a Pisces or somebody with a Pisces moon. They could have the moon in Pisces or a rising sign Pisces. And um, they took you down. They took you into the unknown. They took you down a smoky trail that you didn't like. They kept secrets from you. Like I said, from this ten of swords, you were betrayed. Your partner was juggling you with two people. I'm so sorry, guys. And this could also mean... That you and you know you found out you used your intuition. The moon is also you could be very intuitive as well, Gemini. It can mean a lot of different things. The moon, and you got the world come up after that. The world is uh, the ending of a cycle. Okay, it could represent Capricorn. Um, you've got two tens here. You got the ten of swords and you got the world. Okay, you got two and you got two complete cycles. The world is not a 10, but you've got two complete cycles here, two complete endings of a cycle. So you have completed all your life lessons. You've learned all that everything there is to know, and you can start over with a new beginning. So these two cards denote a fresh start for you, okay? And also, this could mean now that you've reached the world, you've mastered your emotions with the king of cups you become a master of your own of your own emotions your own fate then this allows you to start over in spite of all this pain and the world is yours basically right now the world is yours gemini the where anything goes you could be very successful now that the worst part is over that's the good news on this card and this moon card is telling me that you're intuitive also all right in addition to dealing with somebody with a Pisces rising sign or a Pisces Pisces moon. Okay. Got the magician on the bottom of the deck. That's you, Gemini. Um, this is a major arcana, the magician. This means you are a master manifester. You can manifest anything you want. Uh, this is your card. It represents Aries, Gemini, Virgo. You may be manifesting a new relationship. You may be manifesting a new career. You could just be manifesting yourself. You could just be working on yourself. Um, that magician in there has all the tools he needs. He has the, the he has the Ace of Wands. He has the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So that's all. You're you're very emotionally balanced. You're able. You've mastered your emotions with the King of Cups, and now you're able to manifest. So you're becoming a major manifester. That's very good news. So that's a major, you got two major, you got three major arcanas. Uh, you got the moon, the world, and the magician. Okay. Okay, let's see what else we have. What? Let's go back into the past a little bit and see what we need to know from my Gemini. Holy Spirit, holy angels, holy ancestors. What is, what do we need to know regarding 
Gemini's past. What's the message, please, Spirit? Thank you. What's the message, please, for Gemini's past? Okay, judgment. Okay, judgment. Judgment is another major arcana. That's the fourth one now that you've gotten. Judgment means that you made a judgment call. You, there's their ending of a cycle. You may have had to learn to forgive yourself. Maybe in the past, since this is past energy, maybe you tried to, this two of pentacles person that's juggling you with somebody else, maybe you decided to try to resurrect the situation. See the lovers coming up out of the grave. You tried, maybe you tried two or three times with this person. You tried to resurrect the relationship, tried to bring it back to life, and it didn't work out. That could be another thing. And that person could also be in, that also means karma. This is, the, this is in the past. Maybe that person that you're dealing with, maybe they already have, maybe they already have some karma on them. This is past energy. Judgment can also mean some karma. How do next question is Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors. Please let me know what my Gemini needs to know. How are they seeing themselves right now at this time? How are they seeing themselves right now at this time? What's the message? Thank you, Spirit. And they're telling me to cut the deck, so. Okay. What card do we have? Okay, you're see Gemini, you're seeing yourself as the page of cups, okay? In this case, um, this is the Pisces card again, and so is the moon card. So you're seeing kind of yourself as maybe someone owes you an apology. That's what I'm getting out of this card. You see in yourself as an emotional person. Maybe you, you get, you want, maybe you want to pick up the phone and call this person. I don't know. It can mean a lot of things. Maybe you think someone, you feel someone owes you an apology or you want to apologize to someone. You want to give your person, this person that was juggling you, that betrayed you with the Ten of Swords. You might want to um, pick up the phone and call them. It, it could be an emotional declaration. Maybe that person is going to come and try to come back to you and and, dec and, may, and declare their love for you. And you got this right here, this moon card, your intuitive. And it could be this person has some kind of Pisces. This is your person. They have, they have either a Pisces moon or a Pisces rising sign. That's what I'm getting, okay? So you see yourself as a page of cups. So either you want to apologize or you're seeing yourself as deeply emotional. You could have Pisces in your chart too because this is a Pisces card. And you may want to make some communication as well. Some emotional communication like picking up the phone, texting. Looks like this person, you may not be with them, may not be together with them right now because in the past you had to make a judgment call. You had tried to resurrect the situation and didn't work out. You ended up being juggled again and betrayed. But all this is over now. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors, Holy Angels, please give me a card for Gemini. How are other people seeing my Gemini at this time? Looks like it wanted to come out. Okay, other people are seeing you as the King of Wands. This could be your person too, but right now we're we're talking about you. Other people see you as the King of Wands. They see you as this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the energy you could be in. They're seeing you as an entrepreneur, someone that goes and gets what they want, male or female. They see you as very charming, very strong. Um, very good hearted, very loyal to people. You might have a lot of friends. You might be popular. Um, but this is the energy you in, you're in right now. Okay. It could be your person, but this is how other people are seeing you at this time. This King of Wands.
and you got the ace of swords on the bottom this is aquarius libra gemini energy um people could see you as this is the truth the ace of swords to me is the truth you've received the truth about something you've received some clarity possibly you know about this person that's juggling you that looks like either an earth sign or a fire sign or a pisces okay somebody with pisces in their chart but you've learned the truth okay and you've you, you've reached the world you've reached the end of the major arcana you've learned and now you're going to start all over again you could have had an epiphany or a breakthrough about something but whatever it is it's the truth you've received the truth about something okay holy spirit holy angels holy ancestors please give me a card for my gemini's what what are their hopes and fears at this time because you are feeling nervous you are feeling nervous gemini and you are you're feeling you're being blackmailed we're going to check more into that i don't know what that's about someone is blackmailing you could be the karmic partner but you're feeling nostalgic maybe there's an, another soulmate coming up in your future that you're feeling or somebody that you know from your past that's usually past energy so let's see what is my hopes and fears for the my gemini's at this time spirit please give us a message for that my gemini thank you okay i need to cut the deck just bear with me And what do we have here okay we have the empress okay your hopes and fears this is the empress this is a very good card gemini okay you this is you you want to be the empress or maybe you are the empress this is another major arcana this represents the signs of taurus and libra don't have to be the empress is a very beautiful woman um you could be pregnant i mean this could be this is for the females you could be pregnant or you could just had a baby something like that that's what i'm getting from spirit also if this that does not apply to you you could just be in the empress energy the empress is always birthing new ideas new create you're very creative you're very beautiful uh, you don't chase people you don't chase the opposite sex they have to chase you this is the energy that you're in or you want to be in okay either or either those scenarios depends on your situation uh gemini and then we got the knight of cups on the bottom this is a, a love offer you're hoping this is what you're hoping for you're hoping that um this is cancer pisces scorpio this is the knight of cups this is our romantic knight that comes galloping in offering you uh, wanting to offer you a love offer um they're very sweet talking they're very charming very romantic please be careful of this person you may be wanting someone a new person may be coming in to sweep you off your feet or maybe that's what you're hoping for this is cancer pisces scorpio energy don't have to be but this night sometimes you have to be careful um sometimes they just want a little romance and they'll gallop back out they they're good at sweet talking or it could be a, it could be a um sincere night you never know but that's what you're maybe hoping for or somebody that's coming to your future okay what is the outcome for my gemini what's the outcome Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the outcome for my Gemini? What do they need to know for their highest good, their love life? September 9th, Wednesday. Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. It is almost midnight. It's 11.42 now. Okay. Okay, it's, this is good. Okay. This is your outcome, temperance. Okay. Temperance is the Sagittarius card, and... Uh, you could be involved with a Sagittarius, that's very possible. But this is divine intervention. This is Michael the Archangel. Okay, he's gonna be flying, he's flying around protecting you, making sure you're okay, looking out for you. If you're not involved with a Sagittarius, it could go either way. Um, this person, this this angel is is this is divine intervention right here coming in for you. 
This is moderation, hope, harmony, reconciliation with a partner. You might be reconciling with this person from your past. Okay, this looks like a fire sign from either a, or a Pisces, somebody with Pisces in their chart all as well. Um, you might be, you might be, this, this is a card of reconciliation as well. All of it is a very nice card to get. It's very spiritual. Okay. And it is a Sagittarius card. That could mean something to you. It doesn't have to be that sign. It looks like to me, just divine intervention, reconciliation. It's about keeping yourself balanced and moderated, keeping your emotions balanced because up here, even though you were betrayed by some, this, this person that was juggling you. You've mastered your emotions. You're the king of cups. You've mastered your emotions. Okay. Even though you were, you were not treated so nice by this person. Temperance. So just stay balanced, stay, stay harmonized, you know, and this could mean reconciliation. If it is, be careful because somebody, that person's do some karma. You don't want to be going around with a karmic partner in your energy especially if you're trying to spiritually advance. Um, they're making you nervous. Whoever this is, they're blackmailing you, and you're kind of wanting to go back to the past. You're reminiscing about the past. This right here, this Four of Wands, is a past life relationship also, okay? That's on the bottom. The lovers are on the bottom, okay. This is the lovers. This is your card, Gemini. You represent the lovers. This is about a choice between two lovers. It's a major arcana. So you may be having to make a choice between two lovers. So your choices are, I've got, this is what, this is the way I do this. You got the lovers card. Before that, uh, before that in the deck, there was um, the temperance card, a Sagittarius. And this is the fool. Okay, this is the fool also. So that person here is an Aries or an Aquarius. You may be wanting to take a leap of faith with somebody, or this could represent, this could be you here. This could represent you. Maybe you're spiritual, you're balanced, you're moderated, you're, in, you're good to go. This over here could represent somebody that wants to come towards you, which would be an Aries or an Aquarius. That could be your choice. This is your choice here. This is you, and this is your choice. This is a new person coming in, okay? The fool. It's a, she could be an Aries or an Aquarius. Those are your choices. This is you, and this is them. So your temperance, and this person's the fool. That's your outcome. And that Gemini card, that lover, but that's your choices. All right, we need to get a lot more information on these cards. This could be who you're feeling nostalgic about. Maybe this was somebody from your past coming back, okay? So we need to find out what's going on, who's blackmail, you know, we need to find out a little bit more information on this spread. You've got a lot of major arcanas. You've got judgment, the moon, the empress, the world, the magician, and the fool, the, and I said the empress already, didn't I? Yep. But this new person coming in is in Knight of Cup energy. You know, just be careful. Guard your heart. Okay. It's not always bad, but that Knight of Cups might come in and romance you and have your, get your heart beating fast and make you feel good. So you need to really be careful. And it could be, some, could be this right here. This person, the fool could be an Aries or an Aquarius and they want to take a leap of faith towards you because they're seeing you, they're seeing you as temperance, someone that's balanced, stable, moderated, that has harmony, that's angelic like, maybe you're very spiritual. Okay. Let's get some clarification on this. I'm going to pull out another deck. This is the um, Radiant Wise Spirit Rider Weight for clarification. Let me see what we have on here. Okay, it looks like we got the Empress. So far, okay, this is what we have so far as a couple, 
okay? The Empress, which is you, and the King of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with, you're the Empress, Gemini. You could be dealing with, the person you could be dealing with could be a fire sign, okay? That you want to take a leap of faith, that they're wanting to take a leap of faith with you. I don't know. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could be a significant person in your life. So that's our couple. We need to get a lot more information there. This may be a little bit, I'm trying to make this reading short, but it may not be. So I want to hit the pause button. Okay. This King of Wands, you're the Empress. This King of Wands is the one that broke your heart. Okay. That's the one that broke your heart. Three of Swords, past energy. That person broke your heart, Gemini. This is uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They were in a third party because of the two of pentacles here okay they were juggling you with somebody else they broke your heart i'm so sorry y'all i'm so sorry guys i don't like to do these type of readings but this is what came up all right we're gonna see and on the bottom um we have the seven of pentacles that's divine timing earth energy taurus capricorn virgo um, things are going to straighten out in divine timing. They're going to go your way. You just have to be patient and let spirit and let uh, do some divine intervention come in and take care of it for you. Let's see who. This is your energy right now. I'll pull another card. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a Minor Arcana Empress. So you might be single. Um, you could be right now. You could be single. You could be okay with that. You might be all right now. You might be single. You might be loving it. You might have your own business or a really good job. You're financially stable. See the Empress here. This is minor arcana Empress. It just verifies that you are the Empress and you're independent, single. This King of Wands is the one that broke your heart and you found out from the Ace of Swords that that's the truth. So now you're moving on. And someone new coming in. We're going to check out who this is. This is not your couple. We're going to get rid of the King of Wands. He's not your person, okay? This King of this this um, King of Cups is coming in with an offer. So let's see who this is. The Empress does not need to be with a Knight. I know that, okay? Who is this King of Cups for my Gemini, who, I mean, the Knight of Cups, excuse me, we're verifying the Knight of Cups, a new person that's coming in that wants to take a leap of faith with you, the Fool. Let's see, who the, who is this Knight of Cups spirit? Who is this Knight of Cups? Who is this person for my Gemini that's gotten the Empress? Uh, and the King of Wands came up again. Wow. Okay. Now I see. All right. Got it. Looky here, Gemini. <laughs> this King of Wands has done come up twice. This King of Wands broke your heart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they broke your heart. They were they put you in a third party situation. You found out that was the truth. Okay. You got the Ten of Swords. They stabbed you in the back, betrayed you. But they're coming in again. They're coming up twice. So this Knight of Cups is. This Knight of Cups is the King of Wands. So what I'm seeing from this, because this is reconciliation, temperance is reconciliation in this case. This Knight of Cups right here is the King of Wands, I verified, and they want to come in and reconcile. They want to get back together with you. So that's what I'm getting from the card. They want to take a leap of faith. Okay, and it looks like they made it. They may have made a choice between lovers, and it looks like it's you. They want to come back to you, but just be very careful because they did break your heart in the past, okay? And you know, they did break your heart because that's the truth. And you went through very, you went through a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords. You went through a lot of betrayal and pain, and you had to learn to be like the King of Cups and keep your and you learned how to master your emotions. So don't let this person come back in and ruin all that for you, okay? If you want to take them back, it's up to you. But your Knight of Cups, verified, is the King of Wands. It's come up twice now. The same person from your past. They want to make, take a leap of faith towards you. Whoops, sorry, wrong card. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. And 
they want to reconcile because temperance in this case is reconciliation. So just be careful with that. And they may have made a choice between lovers. They may have chose you. But like I said, the energy they're in and the and the very heartbeat of your spread was the two of pentacles. So you need to find out if they're with somebody else. Okay. You need to make sure because this knight of cups, you know, energy is kind of a player energy a little bit. Not always, but but you're going to find out the truth about the situation in divine timing. Whether you take them back or not, you're going to find out about it. So they want to reconcile this, this uh, king of wands. So looks like the couple was correct the first time I did it. I just wanted to make sure you are the empress, Gemini. This is you. You're the empress. You're the nine of pentacles. That's a minor arcana empress. You're sent. You're independent right now. You're single. You're doing good. Um, Either you could have just had a baby. Some of you, not all of y'all. Some of y'all could have had a baby with this with this first Empress card. You could have had a baby. You could be pregnant. If that's not you, then you're just creating, birthing new ideas. You're single. You're independent. You're successful. And this is this is your person here that wants to reconcile. There's no one else on here. That's it. Okay. So our couple is. The Empress, which is you, and the King of Wands. You're in Empress energy, okay? And they're in King energy. Look, he's looking, look, he's looking over at you. He or she is looking over at the Empress, looking at you right now, wanting to get, wanting to uh, reconcile because of this Temperance card. They're going to come in like the Knight of Cups. They're going to come in all romantic, Mr. Romantic, Mr. Here's my cup of love. I love you. All that. They're going to sweet talk to you. Just be careful. There. Just make sure they're sincere before you reconcile with them. With this um, king of wands. Just be careful. But that's our couple. So, you're going to find out the truth one way or the other. Okay. This person, this king of wands. Good Lord, Gemini. I'm so sorry for all this. You've been through a lot. This king of wands has put you through a lot. Okay, they one that wants to reconcile an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, don't have to be a fire sign; could just be in that energy. Most likely, it is though, from what I'm seeing. All right, you're an Empress status. Um, they could have possibly reaped some karma for what they did to you. Um, you could be nervous about reconciling with them. You could be nervous about the whole situation. It could have made you very upset. Um, they blackmailed you. Somebody is blackmailing somebody. Okay, they could have blackmailed you. Um, you could be feeling nostalgic because you guys did have the four of wands. Four of wands came up. This is my um, soulmate, twin flame, life partner card, air energy, air, I mean fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be, um, this is an 1111 card. If you see 1111, it's a sign that from the universe that this is, I mean, maybe this person is your person. Maybe you need to forgive them. Obviously, it is. It's a soulmate card. There's no one else in here. This King of Cups is you. Okay, that's not another person. So, they may want to reconcile with you, but even if they are your, they're your twin flame, even if they are your twin flame or soulmate, you need to be very careful. I don't know what this blackmailing is about. We need to go further detail into this reading, but you're feeling nostalgic about them. Uh, they're going to come in and want to reconcile, and you're going to be feeling all nostalgic. You're going to start. This is what this card represents. Past life. Nostalgic. Past life relationships. So y'all could have been together in the past life. Could have been married in a past life, had children together in a past life. Or, you know, karma. They could be a karmic partner, too. we got to see. It's not looking like it with that four of wands, but I need to check all this information just to make sure. Okay, so just bear with me. On the bottom of the deck was another soulmate card, the Two of Cups. And that's another soulmate card, okay? That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That's the Four of Wands. That's So that's two soulmate cards. Maybe this person is your soulmate, okay? But they need to learn how to treat you right because you found out a painful truth about them, okay? They were juggling you, all right? I'm sorry, Gemini. I wanted it, didn't want it to be like this, but, you know, i got to read the cards really how they are. Or I wouldn't be much of a reader, would I? Okay. All right, let's get some uh, Mystic Moon Oracles on this situation. 
We're going to go into more detail. Um, they want to come reconcile. Okay, you have to, it's up to you whether you want to reconcile with them or not. You could have tried to do this in the past. It could be your, it's your judgment call, Gemini. It's your judgment call on this, whether you want to take them back or not. Okay. It's looking like they are a soulmate. There's two cards there for soulmate. Hopefully this person has changed. I'm so sorry. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me a card, Mystic Moon, on this um, Empress and this King of Wands. Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Relationship, Reconciliation. What do we need to know about that? Nervous, blackmailed, and karma. We need to know what's going on with that. For my Gemini. Please give us a clear, concise message so they can choose wisely for their highest good to benefit them. Okay, lessons. Uh, you've learned some lessons from this. You've been hurt. You've been through that. The Ten of Swords, you're out of that energy now. You've mastered your emotions. You've learned lessons. So just be careful if you take this, if you take how this person, make sure this person's changed before you take them back. Because you had to go through a lot of lessons. Mask. Yeah, that person in your life, that fire sign area, that King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be wearing a mask. Um, I got a thing about this mask card that I that I learned. Um a lot of times people that wear masks, they um, they wear a mask because they don't want to reveal their true self. The message for this mask is, this King of Wands, he's saying to you, Gemini, that if I take my mask off and I tell you my true self and I reveal everything to you about myself, will you still look at me with the same light in your eyes as you do now? Or are you going to... Or are you going to leave me? If I tell you the truth about me, are you going to take me back? Or are you going to leave me? Will you still have that same... If you're in love with this King of Wands. That person probably made your eyes light up, made you glow. Just remember that question. That's what's behind the mask. They could have some really crazy things to tell you. And they're worried that... Will you look at them in the same way? Will you still love them if they reveal everything to you? Okay, that's one reason to look. Because that person, that fire sign, King of Wands, is hiding behind a mask. They want to return to you. There it is. With the reconciliation card, with the um, temperance. That's reconciliation in this case. Um, yep, yeah, karmic partner. Okay. All right. This person is a... Is a, this person is a karmic partner. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's where the karma comes from. So now we've discovered some new information. Okay. Looks like you could have thought this person was your soulmate, but they're a karmic partner. Take that how it resonates. I'm so sorry. Maybe a karmic partner. There's nostalgia has showed up twice. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the past, all the good times you had together. They're wanting to reconcile with that temperance card. That nostalgia has showed up twice now. Okay. So this king of wands is your um, karmic partner. All right. Let's see. We do have... A King of Cups up here. This could either be you or this could be a part the person that wants to come in. Or it could be King of Cups, the new person. There could be somebody coming in that's an Aries or an Aquarius. We need to go. This is getting a complicated reading. Let's check it out and see what's going on. What else do we need to know? Action. Someone wants to take action towards you. This king of uh, wands, they still want to reconcile with you. But keep in mind, they are a karmic partner. So your twin flame, it's either this king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it's the fool. Aries or Aquarius, okay? All right. 
this situation has caused them or you or both to go into a metaf metamorphosis. This is like the death card. This is like a caterpillar changing into a butterfly. So you're you're growing, you're evolving, Gemini. All right. They want you to surrender. This King of Wands, but this Fool card, you got new direction. They want you to go. Someone wants you to move forward, and they want you. You might be you might decide to go take a leap of faith with this king of cups whoever this is whoever this water sign is or don't have to be a water sign they could just be a very loving person cancer pisces scorpio you might be want to go into a new direction with them because this king of wands is a karmic partner okay so in lieu of the in light of that and in light of this new information looks like we've got now we've got the king of cups this is somebody that's very loving. This is like an empath, a very loving person, male or female, is the king of love. You've got the king of love, and you, which is the king of cups, and the empress. That's your couple. That's the person that possibly you have the four of wands relationship with that you're being nostalgic about. You know, this karmic car partner could be feeling nostalgic about you as well. Okay, union. You guys may be coming into union sometime in the future. So you do have another option there. But besides that King of Wands, they are going to try to come and reconcile with you. Divine timing, all this will unfold. Okay. All right. What is this? I need to look. Okay. Because this King of Wands did not treat you well. They were a karmic partner. Okay. This is the King of Wands we're talking about. And they're nostalgic also, okay? They may have blackmailed you. They may have held some information, some secrets they have on you that would make you look bad. They may have blackmailed you. They have made you nervous. Maybe they're causing you to have, you know, be nervous, to be unsure, to be always in panic mode, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't want the reading to go like that, but I'm sorry about that. This is your, we got free will and release. Whatever you decide, okay, just be, keep in mind this King of Wands is your karmic partner. But you got someone else that wants to come towards you, this King of Cups, which is a, a better choice because that's your soulmate relationship, twin flame life partner. You need to release that King of Wands to go in a new direction because we have that new direction card. It's around here somewhere. You want to go into a new direction. But you have free will. You can do what you want to do. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get some romance angels. Okay. Um. Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, let me get a card on this King of Cups and the Empress. Um, this is you guys. I'll show you one more time. King of Cups and the Empress. That's your couple. That's your person. Okay, it's not the King of Wands. Union, maybe they want to do. They want to come into union with you. And Four of Wands relationship, past life. Um nostalgia has shown up twice now okay so then you also have the two of cups also two of cups that's another soulmate and then divine timing all right that's your new person that king of wands that wants to reconcile is a karma partner okay all right so you may be going in a new direction with them Taking a leap of faith, they want to do that with you. Or you may want to do that with them too. This is another new person coming in. Okay, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let me get a card on this King of Cups and this Empress going that wants to, trying to go into a union with a Four of Wands card.
Okay, let me cut this deck and see what's going on with it. see what we got for this for our couple our new couple possibly you know be careful with that king of wands okay i'm just saying retreat it's time for you to di to disconnect from the world so this is our verifying our this new person that wants to come in this king of cups with you the empress you're the empress gemini um release this person that's coming in could be different from you. Could They could be a different color, different race, a different background, different religions. You see that uh, the man is older and the woman is younger. They're, they're both different colors. One is light, one is dark. They're walking. They're on a little retreat. They're all by themselves. They're walking and talking. They're in wedding attire. Okay. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yep. This person coming in, this... Um, King of Cups coming in for you, the Empress Gemini. Y'all could have a lot of passion between you. Okay. That person, that that the that masculine energy there has angel wings. Okay, this person could be a very loving person. The King of Cups is a very loving person. That's what you need, Gemini. I mean, you can, it's up to you. You got free will. Past life relationship. What did I just say? I can't make this up. This is a person from your past life, all right? This king of wands, this fire sign that we were talking about that I thought was your partner at first, they are a karmic partner. That king of wands is not your person, but this king of cups is your person because you got nostalgia. This came up twice, the four of wands, four of wands. All this is past life energy, okay? I told you it was a past life relationship, okay? They're going to come in and make you an offer. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So nostalgia is like the Six of Cups. You could have been married before in a past life. You could have had children together in a past life. Anything like that. You could have been lovers in a past life, and now they want to come back in. Very loving energy, this King of Cups. Okay, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um, flirt with this person. Okay, flirt with them. Play, be playful, make it easy for them to talk to you, be light and breezy, okay? Anything else we need to know for my couple here? Yeah, because that King of Wands is going to come in and want to reconcile with you, but they're a karmic, okay? I'm just telling you. I'm not trying to be negative. They blackmailed you. They made you nervous. They are reaping karma. You got karma. At the judgment card in the past, look, right here, I'm going to show you one more thing. So you don't go back to this person. If you, I mean, I can't tell you what to do, Gemini. This is up to you. This is just what I'm seeing as a reader. Okay. This person, the King of Wands, they want to reconcile because we got the Temperance card. But in the past, um, that judgment is a karma card. You may have been try you may have tried over and over with them, but they're reaping karma right now because of that judgment card. Okay, that's another scenario. So you want to go towards this new person, this King of Cups, with all this past life energy, four of wands, beautiful energy. All right, let's do one more. I'm only looking out for your highest good. You don't want to be with a karmic. You don't want to be with someone that blackmailed you, made you nervous. You know, I don't see how you could want that. You might love that person, but they're not your person. Okay, just saying. This new person is. Okay, whoops. All right, so we got attraction. You attract romance, romantic love by enjoying the moment. So try, if you do meet up with this King of Cups, just enjoy the moment. You know, don't be too hard on the person. Just enjoy the moment, okay? Let go of control issues. So just don't try to control the situation. Let divine timing handle it. Just if we got that divine timing card. Wedding. 
okay? This situation involves marriage. You could get married to this person, or you could be married in a past life, but they could propose to you as well. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at hand in this situation. So we got divine timing already. This, this situation calls for you to have a little patience to wait for the divine to work it out because you still have this king of wands wanting to come in here and get in and mess everything up so engagement you know there's a card keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations as with the retreat card um this person see they're dark and they're light they could be dark they could be a different race a different color a different religious different spiritual background different values anything but keep an open mind about it because that person is your soulmate your twin flame okay and love yourself first okay love yourself first that makes you more romantically attractive to your partner and to others love yourself first above all okay gemini that's my best advice for you tonight is to love yourself first hon okay i'm so sorry but it looks like things are gonna things are gonna get better you just need to have a little patience but you are i still look at this king of cups this is a partner but this could be you know this is a partner that's coming in but, you know, like I said, it looks like to me you have mastered your emotions and you're in the Empress energy. Okay, so just stay that way. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's get a couple messages from Mercury. Let's see what Mercury has to say. This is when I say um, your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Mercury is how you think or how you communicate. Okay, what would, let's see what kind of Mercury messages we're getting for our King of Cups and the Empress, okay, that could possibly be going into union in divine timing. Okay. You've seen something in me that I didn't see in myself. Okay. So this is one of you guys. This is you or the King of Cups. That King of Cups could have seen something in you that they didn't see in yourself or vice versa. And you're the reason I see life differently. So I hope I haven't lost you. See, this is um, somebody from your past. They're hoping they haven't lost you. I woke up thinking about you today. And Gemini, you brought out the best in me. They're, they, they're saying you brought out the best in, the, in them, this King of Cups. They're saying, I swear, sometimes I could feel your emotions. They're feeling you. You don't know how much you mean to me. I really see myself settling down with you. So that marriage and engagement came up. So they're serious about it. So just be patient. Okay. Eternal messages. This is my eternal messages deck. We're going to get a couple of these. Just be really careful, Gemini. Okay. Be careful. Don't let somebody come in and karmic partner come in and mess up what is coming up for you because it's really beautiful it's very honest very loving so this did turn around thank god this reading turned around i'm so happy okay what kind of messages do we have okay let's see i have options but i only want you Okay, this could be either one of you talking. Both of you could have options. You have options, Gemini, but you, you want them. You want your king of cups. They want you. You want them. I've been feeling your presence around me. See, they're feeling you. You're feeling each other. And I'm always reminded of you because it's a past life relationship. They always, it's nostalgia. They're always having memories of you, thinking about you, Gemini. Beautiful. Okay, what else do we need to know? This is my Sip to Life, Life deck. Some additional information just to give you a heads up. What else do we need to know for our Gemini? Spirit, please give me a card for my Gemini. Send me Rising Venus and Mercury. What do they need to be aware of? This King of Cups energy. Karmic partner, any of that. What do we need to be aware of? This King of Wands. What messages do they need for their highest good? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, let's cut the deck. Okay. 
Okay, what do we have? Splurging, <laughs> Black Friday. Okay, Gemini, this king of this king of cups may want to take you shopping. Once you get together, they want to. They might want to.